In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a bear. Bears are fun to accessorize different stockings and Christmas wreaths and so forth. Here's an example of a couple, a bear here, and here's another example. And basically, if you put them in a stocking, you can use all of your little buttons and embellishments. So I previously mixed this dough, and the way that I did it is I put some gold brown paint into a bowl with a little bit of water, and then I added the salt dough, flour and salt mixture. The combination of mixture would be one cup of flour to one half cup of salt. I mix it together. When you're putting color into your salt dough, it's a lot easier to mix your paint and water first and then to add your dry ingredients. The first step is to make our head. So I've got a little brown ball and you can just smooth it out with your hand. And the next step is to make the tummy. Got another round ball. Smooth it out. We'll then flatten it and wrap it around the tin foil. By putting tin foil inside, it helps the ornament to be lighter on the tree. Then you want to elongate the top of it so that it looks a bit like a plump teardrop. Take your mixture of water with a little plain salt dough, which makes a nice paste. Place it on top, the trunk, and on the bottom of the head and press together. Now for the legs, I have another ball of salt dough. I'm going to roll it out. So it's about even. We'll slice it in half. And then we're going to have a little bit of a bear hip on there. Place your paste and bring it around. Now we're going to want to create our little bare feet. You use either your paper clip or a dough tool to put some toes on there and give your bear some knees. We're going to make the arms the same principle. Take a ball of dough, if it feels dry, add a little water or paste. Roll it out. Slice it in half. And now we have our bare shoulder. And take your tool and add a claw, both sides. Now we're going to make two of the ears. Make sure they're around the same size. Take a pencil, eraser, and just indent them. And then put your paste. Now 
if we want to put some garland around the neck of the bear. I've mixed some green dough. I like to use a garlic press. Last but not least, give your bear, bell, bear a belly button. Decided I wanted my bear's legs to be a little bit together. So we're gonna push them together. And then you can take a piece of a paper clip and do a bit of bear surgery. Stick it inside the head. And that would be what you would put the tree ornament clip through. Then you're gonna place your bear on a cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper. Here's some supplies that I use to accessorize. Basic makeup for the rouge on the cheeks. You can use your paper clip or I use what's called a stylus. It has little metal balls at the end. Prismacolor fine pen. I like 03 so it can become very detailed. And you will need some basic acrylic white and black paint. First, put cheeks on your bear. We'll do a teardrop eye. taking your fine Prismacolor pen, I'm going to add some eyebrows and a nose. After your bear dries then we'll take it outside you can take it outside and get some kind of a glaze for craft projects and spray your bear <laughs> 